what have been some key developments in the industry that you've noticed, especially over the last decade? We as an industry are inherently trying to do the right thing and have always been trying to do the right thing. At, at times you sort of lose your way, poor decisions get made, sometimes you know, we lose equilibrium between value for shareholders, value for the client, um, you know, value for the, for the people involved in the business. We just have to make sure we keep those things uh, in, you know, in check and balance. I think it's been both scrutiny and also uh, the speed of events, um, particularly when you're dealing with the media, particularly when you're dealing with community opinion. I think the Australian industry generally is well placed and well regarded. Uh, some might say that we were fortunate. I think it's much more than good luck that has actually got us to the position where we are. We've had good regulation. Uh, we've had sensible prudential regulation. I think we've also avoided some of the, the pitfalls that particularly UK and US institutions have fallen into partly because of regulation, partly also, I think, because people made decisions um, around what products they were prepared to be associated with and which, which ones they were not. Um, that has an underpinning behind it, partly commercial, partly ethical, partly just good sense. I get a lot of feedback from people saying that the Australian industry seems to be in good shape and doesn't seem to have suffered from the same impacts around excessive remuneration, excessive risk-taking, that, that some of the offshore institutions have suffered. I think there are things now, with the benefit of hindsight, that the industry um, could have done differently and should have done differently. And I think um, we are learning from those things now. And it's important that we do learn the lessons and, and try to improve and, and improve from within the industry rather than just relying on regulators and others to, to change it for us. Even though we've been through some very challenging times, the level of personal responsibility, uh, and, and this leads to you know, the level of ethics, I think is a lot higher in the industry than it was 10, 15, 20 years ago. But that doesn't mean to say you don't have manifestations of extraordinarily bad behaviour, uh, whether it's by certain individuals or whether by certain firms that, uh, you know, that don't exist there, um, uh, today, and they've, those firms have paid the consequences for that. This is a profession where we serve people and the common good.